Hi, it's Robin Sharma, author of The Leaderhood, No Title, founder of the Titan Academy. And this mastery session is all about what rich really means. So over the past two decades, I have worked with a lot of very economically wealthy people. I mean, these are people with net worths from 100 to in the many billions of dollars in terms of their net worth. And what I've realized is this, money is only one form of wealth. And there are a lot of very rich people in the world who are very empty people. And so what I wanted to do to hopefully be of great service to you in this mastery session is to acknowledge, look, money allows you to do great things for your family members. Having money allows you to help other people. I mean, philanthropy is very important to me. But having said that, it is a great seduction of our society to measure your success by net worth versus self-worth. It is a great hypnosis of our world to say that, you know what, that person has a lot of money, so that person is a great human being. And what I want you to invite you to play with and deconstruct is this. Is having a lot of money, but not being in connection with your humanity really rich? I mean, there are people out there, they've got beautiful homes, they've got Lambos and Ferraris, they're traveling the world in their private jets, they've got lots and lots of money, and they have no peace of mind. And so, while let's all acknowledge, you know, having nice things can provide pleasure, but what's the real meaning of richness? And to me, I wanna just jam on a few things. It starts off with loving yourself. It starts off with respecting yourself. I mean, you can't put a price tag on letting your head hit the pillow every night feeling good about how you've lived and who you are and the way you've conducted yourself. True wealth is about health. I mean, someone once slipped a piece of paper to me after a leadership event and it simply said, health is the crown on the well person's head that only the ill person can see. You know, if you lose your health, you lose everything. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you spend the rest of your life trying to reclaim your health. Real wealth, real riches, family. I mean, having perfect moments with your loved ones, you know, making them laugh, enjoying great trips with them, having conversations where you and your favorite people in the world are just connecting as human beings. I mean, that's wealth. How about being in the moment as real riches? I mean, I've started a new practice over the past year and a half where almost every night I watch the sunset. You know, and the sun comes down through the trees in our back garden and I just sit there, even if it's 10 minutes, and I savor it. I mean, um, eminent positive psychologists like Sonia Lubomirsky have, through their research, found that the happiest people on the planet all have a routine in common and it's called savoring. So they don't just go through their day, they find little pockets of opportunity to savor special moments through their day. And so when I watch the sunset, I'm not just going through the day, I'm savoring a part of the day. I mean, let me ask you, if the sun set only once every hundred years, every single person on the planet would be watching it. But because it sets every night, we take it for granted. And yes, it's human nature, but we need to fight that neurobiology. I mean, the positive psychologist and the neurobiologist, they will also tell you about something called hedonic adaptation. And that is the natural human phenomenon to take for granted the good blessings in our lives every day. And just because the sun sets every day, we stop noticing it. That's the way our brain works. We notice the things that aren't working. That's the negativity bias of our brain. But anyway, what I want to dial back into is the importance of remembering what true riches is all about. And living in the moment is one of them. What else would be true riches? How about genuinely serving a customer. You know, let's not forget that the people who, you do, who do business with you are the people who put food on your table every single night. I mean, your family couldn't eat but for your customers. And I see this around the world, especially with a lot of su very successful companies. They have taken their customers for granted. 
You go into the hot restaurant. You go into the popular coffee shop. You look in at some of these chain companies that have become iconic and there is a huge disconnect between the fact that, you know what? The people who are standing there waiting for the food or the coffee or the clothing or whatever it is, those are the people that you initially got into business to serve. And because you've become so successful or your company or brand has become so iconic, it's like we take them for granted. And so wealth is getting up in the morning and going to work and saying, that customer is a chance for me to bless the customer and give them great value and show mastery for them. Because I believe every moment in front of a customer is a moment of truth, an opportunity for you to express the best of humanity. What else is real riches? How about knowing that you're living out the rest of your life as an instrument of service, right? You're helping people, you're kind, you're good. I mean, we don't often think about that, but just being a really good person by being kind, by being positive, even if your heart is broken and your life is falling apart, by keeping your promises, by taking the time to read and study and improve as a human being, to me that is a great form of wealth and it's a great form of riches. And then the final thing I'd say to you is there's a lot of people who have a lot of money, but their schedules are so full they don't have any fun. And I think real wealth is being able to travel, being able to, even if you can't travel, in your own town, having adventures, you know, going to that new pizza place with people that you love, or getting lost in an art gallery, or maybe even just getting lost in a new part of your city that you haven't been in for five years or 10 years or 15 years. But the brain craves novelty and we become rich when every day becomes some kind of an adventure. And what I've learned is, you know, my greatest happiness doesn't come from making money. My greatest happiness comes from learning how to become a better human being, learning from the experiences of my life, spending extraordinary moments with loved ones. I mean, earlier this week, my son, uh, and I went up to the mountains, just a father and son little getaway. It was just for one night, but we did a two hour drive up to the mountains and we talked about entrepreneurship. We talked about leadership. We talked about philosophy. I shared some of the lessons as a father that I've learned as a man. And then we had this beautiful dinner as the sunset. And it was like sort of the autumn is almost here and the colors of the sky. It was like late summer, early autumn. And here I was with my son. I mean, I adore my children so much. And I was with my son and the sun was setting and we were breaking bread together. And we were, we were laughing and we were talking. And to me, that's what real richness is all about. And then finally, more than anything else, before you know it, we're gonna to get to the end of our lives sooner or later. And even the longest life is a really short ride. And nothing is more valuable and nothing speaks to wealth more than me than knowing that you have lived your life in a way that has made the life of other people much better. And if you can do that, you're gonna be a lot wealthier than most billionaires. So I hope I've been of service to you through this mastery session and I'm gonna to talk to you very soon. Hi, this is Robin Sharma. I hope you received great value from this mastery session. If you'd like to receive potent training videos, blog posts, learning tools, and information on my two live events, Personal Mastery Academy, and my flagship four-day experience, the Titan Summit, go ahead and visit robinsharma.com.